In a previous video, I gave you a basic introduction to artificial intelligence, but today we're going to take it a little bit deeper and talk about machine learning, also known as ML. Machine learning is a branch of AI. It's really the secret sauce that makes AI work. It gives machines the ability to learn without having to be programmed by humans. Like when you're learning to ride a bike, you use a lot of trial and error. When you do something that has a negative result, like turning too fast and falling off your bike, you know not to do that action again in the future. Machine learning is all about patterns and making assumptions based on those patterns. Like if the weather outside is progressively getting colder, you assume that it's going to be cold tomorrow. ML is being used across a lot of industries. For example, in healthcare, machine learning is being used to help medical professionals detect the presence of disease. And they're even using it to detect emotional states via smartphone data. In retail, ML powers Amazon's you may also like suggestions and Netflix's recommendation algorithm. Machine learning is helping manufacturers with the production process and banks or other financial institutions are using ML to detect and prevent fraud. But how does machine learning work? Don't worry, we're not going to get too into the weeds here, but there are three types that you want to know about. First is called supervised learning. Oh my god, my cat. Oh. The first type of ML is called supervised learning. In supervised learning, humans create the inputs and outputs that the machine uses to apply to new data. The second type is unsupervised learning, where humans are less part of the process. In unsupervised learning, we give the machine a ton of data and we allow it to just go crazy on its own. The third type is called reinforcement learning. This is when the machine learns through trial and error based on rewards and punishment. Reinforcement learning is really fascinating. You can see an example of this if you look at the robots that were walking around UC Berkeley campus. They use the trial and error of reinforcement learning during their walk. So they would make judgments about avoiding hazardous terrain or rocks. And if they continued on their walk, they knew that the decision they had made was correct and that would inform future decisions. However, if a robot fell down, it knew that it had made the incorrect decision and would use that information in the future as well. Machine learning gets a lot cooler though, because of course, as with everything else in AI, it goes even deeper. There is a type of machine learning called deep learning that uses something I really love, cognitive science and neural networks to make even more interesting conclusions. Think back to your biology classes when you learned about the human brain. We have neurons and synapses. Now take that concept and apply it to machines. A good example of deep learning is like Google or Tesla's self-driving cars. These cars are powered by machine learning, including deep learning, which allows them to interpret, predict, and respond to the data that's critical for autonomous driving. ML and DL are absolutely fascinating, but on this channel, we also cover the ethical considerations of this technology because that's such an important part of rolling it out in an ethical and productive way. One thing we need to think about whenever it comes to ML and DL is something called dataism. What happens when humans start to trust algorithms and data more than our own knowledge? It may seem crazy now, but when was the last time you used a GPS to navigate somewhere as opposed to just using your own brain? The most popular discussion about dataism now is the self-driving car discussion. Who's responsible for a fatal accident of a self-driving car? Actually, that's a really cool question to ask you guys. Let me know who you think would be responsible in a fatal car accident kind of a dystopian question to ask. Another ethical issue here is data. ML and DL require huge amounts of data to give good results. Companies like Meta and Google have basically had unfettered access to our data for the last like 20 years. They are using you and your history to train AI. And you didn't know about this the entire time that you were creating this data on the internet. You had no idea it was going to be used in the future for artificial intelligence. So data privacy is becoming even more important, but a lot of normal everyday people 
don't know about that. ML and DL might seem scary, but the risks are probably worth the reward. Machine learning is gonna improve healthcare even more because we'll get completely customized treatments and diagnoses. This technology can help us resolve the world's worst health problems, like cardiac issues, Alzheimer's, or obesity. It'll help us solve the climate crisis. ML and DL are helping us create self-driving vehicles and smart cities so that we can manage our environmental resources better. Machines can analyze and interpret data so quickly compared to humans. It can help us generate and test new hypotheses that create scientific breakthroughs at a speed we have never been able to achieve before. AI really has the potential to create so many amazing breakthroughs for humanity, and now is just the perfect time to learn about it and familiarize yourself with how it works. The best way to really do that is to start with ChatGPT, so go and check out this video where I talk about generative pre-trained transformers. Next time is going to get super fun because we're going to talk about whether or not AI will take your job. All right, now I got to go to Home Depot. <laughs>